What's happening ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel, hope you're doing good, hope you're doing well, happy new year, merry Christmas and all that jazz, hope it was a good one, uh, we're into 2023 mate, January 2023, uh, probably into the second week by the time you've seen this video, so I've had the first week of doing just normal stuff and then uh, hopefully we're going to get back on the YouTube grind, we're, uh, I'm loving all the new subscribers, people still subscribing to the channel despite me hardly putting any content out for the last month or so, so Hopefully you guys enjoyed the Slay Ground stuff in uh, MX versus ATV. But um, today, before we mix up a bit, we're going to play some Supercross 5, of all things. Um, we did do a career mode on this, but it was a very short-lived series. I, I didn't really, at the time, I didn't really enjoy this game. But I thought I'd pick it back up again. The uh, Supercross season has begun. A1 is done and dusted. Uh, we'll talk about that more in the race in a minute. But yeah, I've literally just watched the, the highlights, obviously, in the UK. It's the Sunday after the uh, the race. So I uh, can't really watch it live unless I stay up to the, the crack of dawn. Um, but yeah, so I thought I'd jump into some Supercross. Obviously Supercross 6 coming out in March, so I thought I'd jump in 5 and just see what it was like. Uh, I'm not going to lie to you, I've not just turned this on. I, I've been playing it for about sort of 45 minutes, just trying to remember how it all works. And uh, it's actually not that bad, it's not that bad. I think at the time it was a bit sort of, of a letdown compared to 4, maybe. I don't know, maybe it's just me. I'll have to go back and watch some of my uh, career mode videos, see what we did. But um yeah, I mean, career mode still exists, so let me know if you're interested. We could maybe pick that back up. I think we're on a Rockstar Husky. I think we ended it on a Yamaha or a Kawasaki or something. I can't I can't really remember. I remember getting dropped from Yamaha or something. But yeah, anyway, today we're going to uh, just jump into a quick single event. Uh, talk about a bit of Supercross, talk about A1, I guess. Um, and that's pretty much it. So I found the custom track. Uh, so we jump in here and we will pick it. Uh, so I found this 2023 Anaheim 1 by Bert21. On a, it's on PS5, but I'm pretty sure they're cross-platform now the custom tracks if i remember correctly can't quite remember but uh so yeah we're having a little tear around here it's not bad not a bad um copy of the the, the real life track obviously limited to what you can do in this game with certain bits of track and stuff so it's not perfect but it's uh it's pretty nice uh we're gonna jump in with dougie decker but we're obviously gonna go aboard a hep suzuki obviously because if any of you uh who've been around the channel a long time you know i'm a bit of a, a ken roxon fanboy so we're obviously team suzuki now to be fair to in my to, in my defense i've always been a fan of suzuki they've just been rubbish lately and have not had any good riders so but i've always talked about them on our channel and i always end up being on the suzuki at some point in our career mode so i'm, I'm sticking I, i'm not just a, a fanboy because of kenny but the hep suzuki looks pretty cool in this game man it's not the it hasn't got the twisted t graphics on it weirdly but uh yes yeah, so we're gonna jump on that obviously it's not the the progressive one that kenny's on but um yeah, we could jump on that and uh, do some laps around Anaheim. We'll do a race because, unless I'm being stupid, I can't find a way to time attack custom tracks, apparently. I don't know if that's a thing. Uh, but yeah, right for a video, I guess we'll jump into a race and I'll see you there in a minute. Cool, right. Qualifying time. I'm going to jump into qualifying. Um, one thing I have noticed playing this in the last sort of half an hour is everything felt really stiff, like compared to playing some MX versus ATV or something, or I don't know, just other other games everything felt really really stiff so i was messed about the bike setup a little bit uh, and i've gone kind of all in so i don't know why i call it so but we'll go with that maybe i call it su suzuki maybe but yeah so i'm like with these games that this, this doesn't actually do much at all these settings in my opinion anyway but uh, basically anything that is minus increases agility as you can see minus increases agility minus increases or low sorry makes it easier to control easier to control i bang all those all the way down and anything that makes it more responsive uh, is all the way up like there's no point going in between there's no point doing like I don't know eight on this one two on you know this one it doesn't make much difference so just go all in if you want to do it but yeah I've gone basically the top three all the way off and the rest of them all the way on uh, and we're going to go with the short gearing at ratio on the Suzuki see if we can get some acceleration out of this this puppy um yeah that's pretty much it that's pretty much it we'll jump into we'll jump into a little bit of qualifying shall we a little bit of quality a little bit of quality but yeah, so this game, man, this game, we, um, as I said, we did a, we did a full career mode on it. I'm pretty sure it was a full career mode. We definitely did 250s and, uh, Jesus, and, uh, 450s with this man right here, Dougie Decker. I can't quite remember what happened, so any of you remember, let me know in the comments. Um, but yeah, I think we did alright. I think we did, well, no, I don't think we did. I think we were pretty bad. I'm pretty sure at some point we got dropped by... But Yamaha was that in the 250s or in the 450s or Malcolm Stewart is all over the place. This is obviously all the all the old, you know, none of, none of the riders are going to be on the right bikes and stuff. I mean, they're not even going to be on the right bikes in <laughs> Supercross 6, which uh, we'll get into that when we when we play Supercross 6. I still that still annoys me that we're like a year after with the game. It's weird. Um, 
but yeah, so we, we did play this quite a bit for a while, so go check it out on the channel if you're interested. Uh, I thought I'd bring it back for a little bit, bring it back for a little bit, but yeah, it felt weird. First playing it, obviously it always feels weird when you go from different Mario Cross games to different Mario Cross games, but it felt really, really stiff going off the, uh, off the track here. So those settings have sort of helped a little bit, I mean you can see I'm all over the place already, but uh, hopefully we'll do a bit better in a race when I'm a little bit more concentrated. Um, yeah, so, I don't know, if, but it feels alright, so yeah, but what I'm trying to say is, at the time I'm pretty sure I was quite harsh about this game, and maybe it still is a bit rubbish if you play career mode and do all the official tracks, I don't know, it was obviously the, the pandemic kind of season, so this, it hasn't even got A1 in it, so this is why I'm using the custom, uh, I mean obviously this is the more realistic compared to the one that they just raced at, but um, yeah, it's literally, I think it started in Houston, did it? The, the season or something like that, I can't quite remember, but... There was basically three rounds at every stadium or something mad because of uh, the pandemic. So this game was kind of just a mess, really. Because uh, this was obviously the 2021 season, was it? I'm trying to remember what... Yeah, that's how it works, isn't it? Because this would have come out in 22. Yeah, last year, 22. And then so it was the 2021 season, which was obviously the pandemic. Still in the pandemic years. Uh, but yeah, it's a mess. It's a mess. So I hated this game to begin with. But um, playing it now, apart from the AI, which we'll get into again in a minute probably. Oh my god. It's actually not as bad as I remember it being. I, I, it's probably better than MX vs ATV Legends, if I'm honest. Physics wise, anyway. I mean, and graphically probably. But uh, maybe not. I don't know. Anyway, we're obviously doing absolutely terrible in this qualified session, so we won't spend too long here. I'll, uh, I'll leave you guys in a minute. But um, I thought I'd bring it back for a little bit. We'll talk about the race, obviously, in A1 that actually happened in real life. Join the race in a second. But uh, yeah, I thought I'd jump into it. Plus, it'll give me some practice before uh, Supercross 6 comes out in, uh, in March. Um, but yeah, I just want to sort of get back into the grind of things. Wish you all a happy new year and stuff. So hopefully you're all well and uh, looking forward to 23. Let me know what you want to see on the channel. Obviously, as I said, as I keep saying, in March we've got Supercross 6, but until then, there isn't really a lot going on in terms of console games. Uh, there's obviously loads of PC simulators and stuff, but um, yeah, in terms of consoles, there's not really much Mario coming out. We obviously didn't get MXGP this year. Uh, I don't know why. I haven't looked into it at all, to be honest. I just assumed it wasn't happening when we didn't get anything before Christmas, and it uh, seems like we're not getting it. So. Which maybe means they can concentrate on Supercross 6, maybe, I don't know, we'll see if it's any better than this one, but um, let me know, see, we could continue career mode on this one, we're on a, as I said, we're on a Rockstar Husky, I did have a quick look, uh, we re-signed, we're at the start of the season, we haven't done the first round or anything, so, if you want to see a little bit of that maybe, before, uh, we won't be able to get a full season in, before, well we might be able to, it's not until March is it, so, let me know, let me know what you think. We obviously uh, still got Dakar and all that that I haven't really played for a while. And uh, we started doing MXGP3 career. So I might do a bit more of that as well, but we'll wait and see, we'll wait and see. But let me know, let me know. Honestly, let me know. If, you want to see, if you'd rather see some more of this, then we'll play a little bit of this. I probably will play a little bit more of this anyway. Just to get me into the swing of Supercross again. Uh, plus, obviously, the season is ongoing, so maybe we'll do kind of a review of the race episode or something each, each week, maybe? Maybe? I don't know, I'm not promising nothing. Because it's always a bit awkward for uh, UK timing, but um, like you probably won't be seeing this till at least Monday or Tuesday, so the race will have been like three days ago. But uh, yeah, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Uh, I was hoping this was going to be a nice lap that we put in, but it doesn't look like it will be. So cool, right? I'll leave you there a minute, and uh, I'll try and put a decent lap in for for quali, and uh, I'll see you in the race in a second. See you in a minute. Boom! Here we go. Let's get into the main event. Somehow we actually got a P1 in qualifying. I actually managed to put in a decent lap when I wasn't chatting away. So. Uh, no promises for the race, no promises for the race, we'll probably be terrible, but uh, the, the AI are also terrible on the custom tracks, normally anyway, so we'll see how we do that, we'll see how we do, but yeah, we're on the, the Hepsuki, Ken Rocks and Fanboy, we'll get into the race in a minute, but we'll get off the start and then we'll talk about Anaheim 1 a little bit, uh, not too much, I mean there's not much to talk about, it was a pretty average race, to be fair, it was nothing special, I think I might go for the middle, you know, I'm gonna go there, makes no difference because we'll probably get a bad jump anyway, let's just double check the setup's all good, Oh, no, 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 uh, no. Let's get into the race, see how we do, see how we do. Dougie Decker, Hep Suzuki, Barsh and Tomac alongside us. Oh, not a bad start, not a bad start. They're probably all going to, yeah, there you go. <laughs> I was going to say they're all going to bottle it anyway. Let's uh, see if we can get away and then we can actually chat properly without me having to concentrate too, uh, too much on the racing. But uh, I was feeling all right in uh, qualifying after I stopped talking, so... 
we're probably all going to pot again, mate. Man, I'm chatting away. But um, yeah, A1 in the books already. So absolutely flying by. I guess quick, quick word on the 250s. Again, both races were pretty boring, to be honest, in my opinion. Anyway, there was nothing, uh, nothing too special happening. We're going to get beaten up by Ken Roxon already. Uh, but the 250s, man. Austin Faulkner. Let's just start with that. That dude gets no luck, luck whatsoever, man. Absolutely no luck. Crashes off the start, straight into the back of his, uh, not his teammate, um, who was it? Husky Boy, wasn't it? On the Husky Man, I can't think of it, wasn't it? Yeah, straight down, man. Straight down into turn, well, not even into turn one. Oh, my God, a bit like Kenny Rocks in there. Uh, yeah, not good, mate. I haven't seen any news on what he's actually like at the moment, what happened, if he's injured or if he broke anything. He looked pretty beaten up at the time, but... I mean, he always a little bit more uh, smashed up as it happens, so hoping for the best, hopefully he's going to be alright. Because uh, yeah, he gets no luck, gets no luck at all. Obviously, as pretty much expected, ah, Jet Lawrence was uh, flying straight away. Obviously, he's come over from um, the other 250 class, uh, he obviously won that last year, and then he's riding, uh, is it West? Yeah, West this year. Uh, and yeah, he, he smashed it, as, as you'd expect, to be honest. He wasn't really challenged at all, so we'll see how that goes for the rest of the year. But uh, he's going to be the one to beat again, so he will have a target on his back now, I expect. So we'll wait and see, we'll wait and see. Right, these boys are going to do my head in. But yeah, that was pretty much nothing really happened in the 250s. I mean, it wasn't a bad race, but you know, nothing nothing else really happened. That was pretty much it. They were both pretty stale. And then the 450s, obviously, uh, the winner was obviously Eli. Came back after a crash over that uh, that little tunnel tunnel jump kind of thing. Came back to win it even after a crash. So I mean, the boys have got some uh, some work to do to keep up with Eli. I think definitely he's he's the man to beat. We're not even sure if he was coming back this year, and he's come back and he's already won uh, won a race. I think that's the first time he's won A1 as well, if I'm right. So uh, correct me if I'm wrong. He's usually pretty slow to start the season. Is Eli Tamak? Oh, we're gonna case that. What are that uh, tabletop? Yeah, he's normally pretty slow, but obviously came out firing. So uh, not looking good for the rest of the uh, rest of the field. Obviously Chase Sexton was uh, up there as well, flying as well as you'd expect. Could be a battle between those two again, same as the outdoors. But uh, we'll wait and see. Hopefully it's not just those two. Uh, but yeah, we'll see what happens. See what happens. Um, Webb was second, wasn't he? Yeah, Cooper Webb was second. After I don't know, he's, he's had some pretty poor seasons previously, so. Maybe he's back. Maybe I don't think anybody really thought he was going to be up there fighting for the podium. Um, it was a pretty late race charge, obviously. And uh, but yeah, he got P2, and then Sexton was third, wasn't he? So um, that was your podium. But um, I think Eli and, and Sexton were obviously a, a given to be expected to be up there. But uh, yeah, Webb was a bit of a surprise. Malcolm Stewart, man, another man that doesn't get much luck. He's still still not won that first Supercross race, and. Uh, Again, A1 was not good to him. He was leading at one point, obviously, you know, he was helped with Eli's crash. Um, I don't think he'd have won the race, to be honest. I think he would have been a strong podium contender. But obviously, he went down towards the end, absolutely went flying. I don't really know what happened. It was a really weird crash. He just suddenly went over the handlebars completely, over the front. Kind of off of a, a jump, like, but not in a, I don't know, it was in a weird way. If, if you haven't seen the crash, try and find the highlights. But it's almost like he got neutral on the bike or something, or I don't know. It was a very weird crash, to be honest. Um, yeah, he, I don't even know if he even finished the race. Even if he did, he would have been very far down. Oh, come on, don't crash, don't crash, don't crash, don't crash, don't crash. I'm showing off my uh, Supercross skills here, as you can see. I said I wasn't particularly good at this game. We are winning, though. I mean, which is, you know, all right for me, to be fair. Uh, but yeah, so I don't know. I don't know. I'm sure he's going to get a win this year. If he doesn't, then I, I don't know. I don't know. I think maybe the guy just isn't going to win one. I don't know. He's probably got his best chance of winning one on that. Rockstar Husky. It's obviously a full factory team. Uh, we'll see how he does. We'll see how he does the rest of the year. He wasn't injured, I don't think. He looked a bit wobbly when he got up, but I think he was alright. Um, so hopefully he'll be alright for, uh, for the next race. I'm sure he will be. Uh, and we'll see how he does. But yeah, he would have been podium contender, I reckon. Podium contender, Chase Anderson on the cow. He wasn't really anywhere to be seen, to be honest. Again, he crashed fairly early on trying to get past Kenny. Um, again, I think he should improve as the season goes on. Hopefully, he was obviously pretty quick a couple of seasons ago. So, what was it even last season? Was he quick? I can't, I can't remember. It all, it all blurs into one. But yeah, it wasn't really. Uh, didn't play much part in it. Um, 
Ferrandis was up there? Was it Ferrandis? Yamaha boy, it was Ferrandis, wasn't it? Yeah, Ferrandis, not Passenger. Passenger's on the KTM. Trying to remind myself, mate, it's a uh, new season, it's always hard to remember what's going on if anyone's moved. But yeah, Ferrandis was up there, fighting with Webb. Uh, he did alright as well. But I'm assuming he got, what was he, P P4, P5? Not bad at all. Nice to see a bit from him. He's obviously well fast outdoors. Supercross never been as, uh, never been quite as good. So you never know, maybe this is the year for a bit of Dylan Ferrandis, especially for that Yamaha alongside Eli. Um, and then obviously the man that, you know, was the off-season news, pretty much all off-season, Ken Roxon aboard the progressive X-Star, Hep, Suzuki, Twisted T, all the sponsors. Red Bull, Fox, whatever he's got himself, whatever you want to, whatever you want to call it. Progressive Suzuki, basically, uh, ran by the HEP team. But um, what do you get in the end? P6, was it? P5 with Mookie's crash? I can't remember. It was, oh, hello, cheeky little whip. Didn't mean to do that. Yeah, P5, P6, wasn't it? P5, I think it was. Uh, I don't think that's bad. I don't think that's bad. New bike, new team. Uh, he normally does fairly well in the first races, a couple races of the year, and then he tends to fade off. So, I mean, if he's going to fade off from fifth, then that's not ideal, obviously. He's going to be way back in the pack. Kenny, if that is going to, you know, if it's going to be followed previous years, then I guess it's not a good start for him. You know, normally he's, he's winning or at least podiuming in, uh, in A1. So, uh, but I don't think we should read into it too much yet. New bike, new team. I, I don't know. I don't really know what to expect from him. He, he's not been at his best for obviously for a while since all the crashes and stuff. He always puts in a race win here and there. So I would I would I would expect to win on that bike maybe. I mean it's clearly not the best bike in the in the field. We all know that. Uh, I mean the fact his teammates were nowhere to be seen. Did they even qualify? I don't even know for uh, for the main. I didn't see another Suzuki anywhere. So I don't even know if don't know if they qualified. Which you know says a lot about uh, Kenny if he's uh, yeah able to keep it up there fighting for the podium he was fighting for the podium he I mean for a little bit then he sort of faded backwards made a few little tiny mistakes nothing nothing crazy no crashes just a couple little uh, little mishaps little missed rhythm sections and stuff got heart raft here obviously not racing in uh, real life at the moment but hopefully we'll be back at some point uh yeah, so I thought it was a fairly good outing for Suzuki, to be fair. It's going to be good for Suzuki in general. They've obviously dropped out of every other kind of motorsport, pretty much. No more MotoGP, no more onboard superbikes, nothing. No official teams, anyway. No no uh, factory teams. So, I don't think they're all of a sudden going to put all their money into motocross. But, you never know. Motocross and supercross, you never know. It's the cheaper, I would imagine, of all the... Compared to the road racing sports and stuff. But, uh... I, I don't know. I just I don't know if they're just not going racing anymore. They're just kind of concentrating on cars and stuff and electric vehicles and all that. But don't hit the top blocks. Oh, <laughs> I'm all over the place. But this is a better show for me than I thought it was going to be. Um, but yeah, so I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, it'll probably have my. I mean, I don't know if anyone's going to go out and buy a Suzuki motocross bike. They've always been good, man. Like the kickstarts nowadays. Like I know it's not a big deal. If you haven't kicked your bike over, then you've already lost the race. So. Probably. But then you say that, but then Eli crashed. I mean, did he stall? I don't know. If he did stall, all he did was have to push a button and he was back on and going. So, had he had to kickstart a Yamaha, would he would he have won the race? I mean, that's the question. I don't, I don't know. That's the only thing that really lets Suzuki down, though. The, the bike itself, I think it's fine. Like, it's fast enough. It might not be the quickest, but it doesn't necessarily... You don't have to be the quickest top speed. Especially in Supercross, you don't need the quickest top speed. It's more about the, the feel of the bike and the handling of it and, and all that so I don't know we'll wait and see wait and see but uh, not a bad show from Kenny um, I think that was also right home by really San Cirillo was a bit disappointing obviously coming back off of a well no season pretty much last year uh, after injury don't really know what to expect from him to be honest but um, he's going to have to put some put some sort of performance in if he wants to keep his Cowie ride uh, I think they're giving him the benefit of the doubt, obviously, with all the injuries that he's had, and they've obviously kept him on again this year. But uh, yeah, he's gonna have to start putting some 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 decent results in. I think if they if he wants to keep that ride. And then KTM boys, as I said, obviously Webb was decent. Uh, Muskin, I have no idea where he finished, but and uh, Plessinger was quite far back, I think. 
But yeah, apart from that, I mean, it was a uh, okay A1. Nothing, nothing to write home about, really. It was a uh, fairly steady race. A couple crashes, obviously, and, uh, uh, and Eli, obviously, fighting his way back to the front. But that's pretty much it. So there we go, little review. I don't know if we'll do this every week. Maybe we will. Let me know if you want me to. But uh, yeah, it's just nice to play this game, to be honest. I, I actually feel like I appreciate this more now than I did when it came out, as I already said. I feel like after playing MX vs ATV, and although I'm not going to just... Um, this is not a video of hating on that game because obviously I still play it and stuff and we still enjoy like the sleigh grind and all that. that was, that's a good addition to the game so it's not a bad game. I just, I don't know, this does feel, I, I'm messing all the rhythm sections up but it feels alright, it feels alright. So I'm hoping Supercross 6 there'll be a bit of a jump from this. There was a bit of a jump from 4 to this so I don't know, we'll have to wait and see if it's going to be much different but hoping there is, we'll obviously be doing it on the channel buying that as soon as it gets released and uh, I guess we'll go from there but yeah let me know if you want to see any more of this I don't mind maybe doing career mode more or maybe we'll just keep it to uh, like a post race kind of not a review as, as it were but you know little chat little chat little ride around the track hopefully people keep making these custom tracks of the uh, 2023 tracks until we obviously get the, the new game so maybe we'll just do that for a bit but uh, we're taking a win right A1 on Suzuki beautiful Sure, that's what Kenny wanted to do, but uh, didn't quite work out. But yeah, there we go, guys. There we go. Hopefully, you enjoyed. Hopefully, I'll, uh, I'll try and get some more videos out this year. Um, we obviously tailed off towards the end of last year. I'm not going to be busting like five videos out. I, I feel like I got too into just putting out like four videos a week, four or five videos a week. It's just too much, too much. I, I don't do this for a living. This isn't my real job. And I was putting more videos out than people that do this to make money. So. It's probably going to be a little bit less, but yeah, let me know. Like, honestly, I know I always ask this and not necessarily many people comment, but really do let me know on the community posts, on the on the comments of this video, any other video. What do you want to see? Because I, until Supercross 6 comes out, we can play anything, really. So, we can leave it there. We'll leave it there. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, leave some comments down below. Give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to the channel. It'd be very much appreciated. We're, we're getting to a thousand, man. I was hoping we'd do it before the end of the year, but then I stopped posting videos, so I'm not surprised. But uh, yeah, thank you to all the new subscribers who've joined uh obviously any new people watching this thank you for watching and uh i'll leave it there i'll see you next time cheers guys bye